Hello and welcome to another Divine Mercy for America Holy Hour Novena. We are Dave and Joan Maroney from Mother of Mercy Messengers, an apostolate for the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. And you can find us at divinemercyforamerica.org, divinemercyforamerica.org. Click the membership tab. All right. And we're here. Why are we meeting here today? I know most of you have been coming so faithfully. Uh, we're and here. Today is the last day of, of the, uh, the May. The May novena. novena. May 9th is today, Monday. Nine days. 2022. And we join together to pray uh, in response to the Lord's instructions on how to pray for our nation. We've been doing this since January of last year, 2021. Um, but 20, since 2012, people have been making these novenas. As we said earlier, this is we're going on 10 years of people praying for our nation. And we're seeing the fruits of it. And we're really going to see the fruits of it and hear fruits of, of, of our prayers and all the good work people are doing. As uh, our special guest today is Elizabeth, Elizabeth Rex from uh, Choose Life and also um, Children First. And so before we turn it over to her to share with us about her mission and her work, uh, let's start with a quick prayer, Dave, yes. and um, we welcome our guest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Amen. Blessed Mother, we turn to you, Mother of Jesus, Virgin Mother. What a concept, Vir Virgin Mother of our Lord and Savior. And we thank you, dear Mary, for your intercession in our lives. We ask at this moment for you to intercede again. Please, dear Mary, go to your son and ask him to, uh, to shower his graces upon us, upon this meeting together, upon this time together. And we uh, pray, dear mother, for the little ones, the children in the womb. We pray for all of them that they're their parents will turn uh, to them with love in their hearts. We thank you for your wonderful inter intercession in our lives. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, Elizabeth, welcome. Elizabeth uh, was recommended as a speaker by uh, Peter Lepre, who joins us on a pretty regular basis. His name says Janet, but it's his, it's his wife's name. So it's Peter. And um, she and I had a chance to, to visit a week or two ago. Uh, oh, my gosh. Incredible. We're going to have her back again next month because she's got so much to share. But Elizabeth, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to share with us uh, about your work. And we're going to spotlight you and um, just kind of let you take it from there. First, I guess maybe I should just ask you to give a little bit about your background and uh, then go from there. Well, thank you so much. And I want to thank Peter Lepre for uh, so much, all that all of you are doing. And he knows, or he knew, we were trying to get the Choose Life license plate approved in New York of all states. <laughs> and uh, that's how I met him through the pro-life movement. Okay. And I'll begin, I want to leave, we have about, 15 minutes. I'll start briefly with the Children First Foundation. And then I want to um, talk about Choose Life, Choose Life America, the Choose Life license plate movement. And then I'd like to end with um, a brief discussion about the importance of the pro-life choice, which is adoption, and safe havens, which is an anonymous adoption. And some of your viewers may know about it. Um, some of them may not. So, and then I'd like to leave a few minutes for questions. So um, I know I think there might be a little time at the end, but some people may have to leave. So a little, a few moments, if you think of anything, write it down. I'll leave a few minutes at the end before the top of the hours, because this is something everyone can do. So my husband and I, met late, late in life. I'm going to start with um, our life story, which led to the Children First Foundation and to the license plates and to being an advocate for adoption. So we were hoping to have a family and it didn't work. So we checked ourselves out and it didn't work. <laughs> 
And there are things that couples can do that are moral and licit to help with procreation, such as there's a stimulation of the ovaries. I was older, I was 40 years old when we married. And you know, by age 43, 44, the biological clock is ticking. And so we were praying, of course, and doing everything possible, but nothing worked. So we began looking into adoption. And in the meantime, it's very, it's a very complicated, you know, how do you begin? And it's, but we began and you have to be trained, you have to be fingerprinted, you have to have a home study, you have to do all these things. And in the meantime, my husband was uh, New York Colorado, he's a violinist. He uh, was the associate concert master on the first stand, a uh, wonderful man, um, my better half. And we, um, we had an apartment just, you know, a stone's throw from Lincoln Center in Manhattan. And in our apartment, and we started breeding baby cockatiels. I don't know if you're familiar with birds, but they're very sweet animals. And so there was a triple clutch. We had nine baby birds <laughs> and we were busy, you know, feeding them, caring for them. We lost track of everything. And all of a sudden I said, I think I missed my period. I'm 44. And sure enough, I was pregnant at age 44. And we've been looking into adoption and raising baby birds and fertility was in the air. And so I immediately was told to stay home. It was my only chance. And at age 45, we welcomed into the world our son. And I gave hope to a lot of my friends <laughs> who were facing the same problems. And adoption, we looked at each other and we said, wow, adoption really works. Let's try that again. <laughs> so we started looking into adoption again and we adopted our son, Chris. And it was, um, we had to travel to Atlanta where my husband's brother and wife had adopted. And every state has different adoption laws. And we were, we were blessed with a, a second child. I was the first one to hold him. I was able to meet and embrace the birth mother. And we met the birth father. They were both in the hospital. It's a very loving, courageous, difficult decision, but they made it. And uh, so we had that experience. We brought Chris home and we thought, wow, let's, let's try to raise money for pregnancy centers and, and encourage adoption. So my husband, with his talent, being a violinist, we did uh, recitals in our home and in other people's homes, and we would raise two, three, four thousand dollars and give it to pregnancy centers. And I had time, and my husband had talent, so uh, we were doing that. And in our home, we were giving a recital, and Christopher Slattery, Chris Slattery of Expectant Mother Care, was there, and he has. <laughs> so many pregnancy centers in Manhattan, the Bronx. And at intermission, he said a few words and said, you know, for example, a couple came into uh, the center, they thought they were entering a Planned Parenthood. They didn't speak English, they were from Russia. And he um, asked them would they ever consider adoption. And with their broken English, they, Said they might and he said he would help them they were artists they could barely support themselves it was an impossible situation he was married she was already married and divorced it was a mess and so uh, he said i don't know if they'll come back but if they do i told them i would help them raise money for themselves they were painters they would sell paintings of madonna's and ch child and they could support themselves until the baby was born if they would want to choose adoption they said they would like to meet the family so after the concert, we told Chris, you know, if they ever come back, we'd be, we would love to adopt another child. 
wouldn't you know, the next day they showed up in his pregnancy center and he called and said, they're here, they'd like to meet you. So we said, bring them. And they said, yes, they wanted to let their two month, she was eight weeks pregnant. They liked us, we liked them, we, it was agreed upon. Amazing. So I went through seven months with this couple and they, it's a very hard decision to choose adoption, but they did. And our daughter is now 23 years old. She's a, a pianist, she's a virtuoso, she's a valedictorian, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And she has met her birth parents. So we were so amazed about adoption, you know, pregnancy centers. And then we saw this little license plate on the front page, Florida, Choose Life, on uh, National Catholic Register. And this little license plate had raised $300,000 for pregnancy centers to promote adoption. And we thought, wow, license plates make money, a lot of money. We should look into license plates. So we looked into, um, we tracked down because there was no article, there was no contact information. And so I, I went to the New York Catholic Conference of Bishops in um, New York, Kathleen Gallagher, and she contacted the Florida Catholic Conference. And uh, the next thing in a week or two, I got a thick packet in the mail. It was lawsuits. <laughs> lawsuits about the Choose Life license plate. So it was brand new, but thank God that Jeb Bush signed the bill, got the plate on the road, and they got 40,000 plates on the road while they were being sued by three different organizations who wanted to keep the Choose Life license plate off the road. <laughs> but I eventually won all of its license plate lawsuits by the ACLU, now NARAL, all of them. And um, they got it on the road. Well, it went national because of the lawsuits. So we, um, in just a few months, it raised all that money. It has now raised $28 million. And the money goes to pregnancy centers. And it's a pro adoption license plate. So I would uh, like to, um, maybe if you can put the, I'd like to talk about the Choose Life license plate now, because we were one of the first ones to contact ChooseLife.org. So the Choose Life, um, can you show that website Choose by any chance? There's a map. There's, yes. yes. Okay. Got it. Yes. I'll get it. Just one second. Okay. There it is. So that was the year 2001. So we're going back uh, 21 years. And it started in Florida. So all the green states are where the Choose Life plate has been approved now. And it's been approved in 33 states and DC. So it just spread. Everyone loved the idea because everyone likes license plates, you know, whether it's the Yankees or the Mets or the Giants, or it's um, down in Florida, they have lots of license plates. That's where specialty license plates started. They have this save the manatee, protect the panther. And a man by the name of Randy Harris was sitting in traffic in front of one of these, you know, save the panther place. He said, why couldn't there be a license plate that would help save babies? by promoting adoption. And from the very beginning, he realized women and men need a good choice. And there is a good choice. It's called adoption. It's a pro-life choice that everyone can support, whether you're pro-life or pro-choice. So it, uh, it caught on. And Louisiana was, I think, the second state uh, the, the Bible Belt really embraced Alabama, Mississippi. They went crazy. 
<clears throat> and before you know it, it was raising millions of dollars. It was on tens of thousands of cars. In Florida, there were um, over 40,000 at, at one point. And that was raising 800, because it's about 20, an extra $20 every year. That's something everyone can do. And it's a traveling billboard. Mm -hmm. It goes, whenever you drive, you're promoting, you're mobilizing a culture of life. Mm -hmm. People see your license plate and it has saved babies' lives. Mm -hmm. There are stories, there's a book that, um, that is Contemplate Life. And this is available on that website. And uh, it was written by those of us who started the plates in different states. So it was, we thought, we looked into uh, the plate and it was very easy to apply for it in New York. We only needed 200 people for $5,000. That's something that's feasible, right? So we got the 200 people and they blocked us. They said, oh, that's patently offensive. I, and here's the design. We use, we got permission to use the same logo. And here's the New York, two smiling children and the words choose life. And what a cute plate that would be. And, um, well, we have donated over $200,000 to pregnancy centers in the tri-state area. While they blocked us, in fact, they shut down the whole custom plate program to block us. And we had to eventually sue. And we went all the way to the Supreme Court, the United States Supreme Court. It was First Amendment, freedom of speech, and 14th Amendment, equal treatment under the law. There were 300 other plates for unions, for the Masons, either secret society, um, square dancers, you name it, anybody could have a license plate. And then uh, in the meantime, we went to Connecticut while we were wrangling with New York and they approved it. They approved our cute little plate in Connecticut. And I think it's because we put fundadoption.org. It's a pro-adoption plate and it's giving a great, you have to choose life first and then think about your choices. Maybe adoption, an open adoption, a closed adoption. There's even an anonymous adoption. So we got this one and New York still wouldn't approve our plate. So then we thought, well, what about New Jersey? So we're going to New Jersey and this was our design. We even put fund adoption at the bottom of this one, but it was a no-go. They just said, it's too political. It's, it'll cause road rage, um, anything to block it. So it got blocked. So we had to, with the help of Alliance Defending Freedom, we had pro bono assistance uh, because this was clear viewpoint discrimination. This is just blatant, um, unconstitutional textbook, unconstitutional behavior, freedom of speech, equal treatment under the law, and a good cause. So we had to sue New Jersey, and then we threatened New York, and they wouldn't budge. And then we had to sue New, New York. So we had two major lawsuits. So bless his heart, Governor Christie, Chris Christie, elections matter. We made it an issue, and he said if he was elected, he would approved the New Jersey Choose Life license plate and he would defund Planned Parenthood. And he did. When he got elected, uh, we got our plate. So in the meantime, um, I can see it's getting a little late. Uh, this is a half plate. It's half the size. And so in New York, for example, imagine this is your regular license plate, not a Choose Life plate, you could attach this one at the bottom or at the top. <laughs> so we will never give up. And if we get a pro-life governor in New York, and there's a good chance this November, there are two good pro-life candidates in New York, they will approve. 
the Choose Life played in New York. So in the meantime, uh, it's a membership plate. It's $25 a year. And you can go to our website and order uh, the Connecticut plate, the New Jersey plate, and I don't have a sample of it. We got the plate approved in Washington, DC. Oh my goodness, during the years of Barack Obama, President Obama, it went right through. We just got it approved. It's available in the District of Columbia. And it's got our logo and it says children first and fund adoption. So, and we just got another application the other day. Somebody in Washington, DC is getting a Choose Life license plate. So. I, I haven't left any time for questions here. Please stay at the end and ask me any questions that you may have. Does anyone have a Choose Life license plate? I wonder if any of you have. Oh, I did. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's in. So go to um, the Choose Life website and click on your state. And the contact information is there as to how to get your plate. Some of them uh, you can get at the DMV, others you have to go through the organization itself. But they then, you have to be a member, pay your dues, be a member in good standing, and the money goes to the pregnancy centers. So it's a wonderful way to mobilize a cult culture of life in our country from coast to coast. And if your state doesn't have a Choose Life plate, you can get this one. And it's even brighter and bigger and you can put it on the front, you can put it on the back, you can put it in your you know, cars, in, at work, <laughs> put it on your bicycles, put it on your wheelchairs. You can, <laughs> if you have a, someone who's you know, in a wheelchair, I, there was a wonderful woman who wanted one for her wheelchair. How cute. Huh. Take your pride for a ride, take your pro-life pride for a ride and promote adoption, which is a good choice mm -hmm. for an unplanned pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So how do you get the one that's not not associated with the state? I'm looking on yeah. the website. Uh, there's a uh, contact information, uh, the children first dot org. If you uh, have that on your website, I know you have it. Uh, go to the children first dot org. And there you have it. There's the DC plate. It's red, white and blue. I love it. And the half plate is available. It says USA choose life. So it's good for any state. You can attach it above or below your plate. Don't block your plate. I'll send instructions if you want to get one. They're $25 and $20 will help support pregnancy centers. So it's a wonderful way for all of us to, you, you could reach, you could save babies' lives. You'll never know. Someone is praying for a sign and they see a choose life plate and they turn around from going to the abortion clinic and choose life and the pregnancy centers and safe havens. We didn't have a chance to talk about that, but um, I hope everyone might look at a movie. I just saw it last night myself. I've heard of it. It's called I Lived on Parker Avenue. And it's a 19 year old boy who's going to meet his birth mother and birth father for the first time. And I know it was a safe haven baby. So it's, it's a documentary. You see the birth mother, the birth father, the son, the adoptive parents, amazing, beautiful, uplifting movie. And it's all, she made a loving choice. And that's why we called it the children first. We named our organization in honor, in honor of the birth parents who put the lives of their children first. And that's what we want to promote, especially if Roe v. Wade is overturned as it should. Women need a good choice. And adoption is a loving, courageous, intelligent co choice. We know firsthand and um, it's better than abortion. And it is something that we in the pro-life movement need to do a better job of promoting because women need to know that it can be anonymous. The, the, the um, primary cause, the leading cause of death among pregnant women is homicide. It, it, many of you may know this, 60% of all abortions are coerced. 
the mother is being abused physically, mentally, emotionally, verbally, are thrown out of homes. They have no choice unless they abort their baby. They, they can get help and they can keep their anonymity too. Maybe they don't want the husband or the boyfriend to know that they're pregnant. It is possible to get the help they need through the safe haven numbers. And so you can look up safe haven. Every state has a safe haven law. You, uh, they can go to a hospital. They can give birth in the hospital anonymously. It's a state law. And the baby will be uh, adopted. So this movie is all about a safe haven baby. Uh, his name is David. And he's very, it's so beautiful that everyone is so glad that they made that loving choice of life and adoption. And um, so it's something that we can all agree on. It's common ground, it's common sense. It actually, you know, supports a woman's right to choose and the baby's life, right to life. We can do both if we do a better job at promoting adoption and safe havens when it's a difficult, unplanned, unwanted pregnancy. There are good choices and women can get the help they need to make that loving decision. Every child is a child of God. And we're all adopted children of God, aren't we? We're all adopted children of God. So let's, if you get a Choose Life license plate, you'll be helping to promote that, that the message of God. You're, you're really evangelizing every time you drive with your Choose Life license plate. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Beautiful work. What I'm sure there will there will be some questions and, uh, so what, what we'll do is we will, at the end of the holy hour, come back to you. Um, and how timely, right at this time with the Supreme Court and all that. And, and Mother's people Day. People have the yesterday. arguments against it that are, you know, not valid. How this, your information here just really is awesome. I lived on Parker Street. It, it was free. If you can, you know, find it on, I think it was 2B or something like that. And... Um, she was in the stirrups, but somebody outside the abortion clinic said, your child has 10 fingers, 10 toes, don't kill it. And it, she made that decision inside the abortion clinic. Wow. Very, very powerful. Well, then I recommend what we do right now. I just got chills is that we offer this holy hour here in May, the month of Our Lady, Our Mother Mary. Um, we honor all mothers yesterday. Uh, that we pray for all those mothers that right now are are contemplating um, this grievous act, uh, coerced into it, but that they will have the courage and the strength and the gifts of the Holy Spirit, just like you said, to to choose life, choose adoption if that's the best thing for them, for their baby, for their situation. And also, I want to lift up then all those sidewalk counselors. And all those people that just so religiously and faithfully just even just come to pray uh, and to be that that witness for life and that the God will inspire them with just the right words to say and and to persevere in it. There's they are very few. And um, and that also that that the Lord will send more workers in, in uh, to meet these needs, to be there as as the witness. So. Uh, thank you for sharing that with us. We'll, we'll go ahead and pray now. And then, um, as we mentioned at the end of the Holy hour, we'll come back for questions. So, so here we go in the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, dear Lord Jesus. There you are again, Lord for us. Gosh, we thank you so much. Thank you for the witness of Elizabeth and her story. And uh, we pray for all of the mothers at this time, all the fathers also, and the children in the womb. Uh, we just pour your mercy out upon us. The Holy Spirit, come, come to our world. We need you so bad. So we will begin with a spiritual, an act of spiritual communion. So we pray the act of spiritual communion. 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to, to be, be separated, separated from, you. from you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> right, and we will... Uh, Where did Vilnius go? Oh, I know what happened. One second. I'll get back to it shortly. And... Uh, so Elizabeth is going to be leading us in the Holy Rosary, and we have our prayer partners, prayer team members who will be responding. <clears throat> and uh, so Elizabeth, you can do all the opening prayers yourself. Is that okay? And then when you get to the decades, um, you know, our friends will respond. I'm reading from a pro-life reflections on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary. The joyful mysteries, the Annunciation. Mary is troubled by the angel's greeting, yet rejoices to do God's will. Let us pray that those who are troubled by their pregnancy may have the grace to trust in God's will. We'll go ahead and do the opening prayers. Okay. Yes. So we'll pray, uh, and then Elizabeth, you can pick up uh, at the decades. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, <clears throat> creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic, Holy Church, Catholic Church, the communion of saints, communion of saints the, the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And for our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. All right, Elizabeth, so if you want to uh, lead say the, the first part of the Our Father and then uh, each beat on the decade, the first part of the Hail Mary. And who is responding on the first? Rita. Rita is responding. Agnes, Agnes is. Oh, I'm sorry, Agnes. I'm looking at the wrong list. Agnes, yeah. The Annunciation. Mary is troubled by the angel's greeting, yet rejoices to do God's will. Let us pray that those who are troubled by their pregnancy 
may have the grace to trust in God's will. Okay, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you you do the first part of the Our Father and Agnes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Almighty oh, Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of, the hell. of hell. Lead, Lead all, all souls, souls to souls heaven, to heaven. Especially, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. John the Baptist leapt for joy in his mother's womb. We pray that people may realize that abortion is not about children who might come into the world, but is about children who are already in the world, living and growing in the womb, just like John the Baptist and Jesus, the Son of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now 
and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third mystery, the nativity. God himself was born as a child. The greatness of a person does not depend on size, for the newborn king is very small. Let us pray for an end to prejudice against tiny babies threatened by abortion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed art thou, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery, presentation. The child is presented in the temple because the child belongs to God. Children are not the property of their parents, nor of the government. They and we belong to God himself. Every child is a child of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, lead us not into hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially, to heaven those, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Joyful mystery, the finding of Jesus in the temple. The boy Jesus was filled with wisdom because he is God. Let us pray that all people may see the wisdom of his teachings about the dignity of life, especially the dignity of every baby from conception until birth. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us <clears throat> sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires from of hell. Heads of hell. Lead all souls, souls to, heaven, to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Our, our life, life, our sweetness, and our hope. And our hope. To thee, to thee, we cry, poor banished to children of Eve. Eve. To thee, to we send up our sides, our sides morning, morning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn, Turn then, then gracious most gracious advocate, thine eyes of, thine eyes of mercy, mercy towards us. And after this and our exile, this exile, show unto us, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, o, clement, o, o loving, o, o sweet Virgin, Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. And let us pray. O oh God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Elizabeth, and everybody who joined in prayer. Right. Prayer to St. Joseph? Yes. From Pope Leo the Thirteenth, the same pontiff that gave us the saint michael prayer to you O blessed joseph blessed joseph do we come in our tribulation and having implored the help of your most holy spouse we confidently invoke your patronage also through that charity which bound you to the immaculate virgin mother of god and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg 
you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Elizabeth. Well, as when we read that part is once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril. So now rescue your church and, and the children in the womb that are in deadly peril. St. Oh, Joseph, pray for us. Mercy. All the children. All right. And um, we continue this novena of holy hours, making the holy hours. For our nation, because it's what the Lord told St. Faustina to do for her country of Poland. And uh, another thing he told her was to, for nine days, to pray the litany of the saints. We pray this for our country, for wherever you are across the world. I know our Canadian friends are here, um, others praying it for their nations. Pray at this time also for the Philippines. We have a very important election going on today, or yesterday, was it? today anyway um today today is monday so uh together we pray and uh dave and i will lead and then elizabeth will call you in on that part um when uh, as we, we agreed before in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen amen, amen. lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us mercy on us christ have mercy on christ have mercy christ have mercy on us lord have mercy on us lord have mercy have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us god the father of heaven have mercy on us god the son redeemer of the world have mercy on us god the holy spirit have mercy on us holy trinity one god have mercy on us Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets, pray for us. Saint Peter, pray for us. Saint Paul, Pray for us. St. Andrew. Pray for us. St. James. Pray for us. St. John. Pray for us. St. Thomas. Pray for us. St. James. Pray for us. St. Philip. Pray for us. St. Bartholomew. Pray for us. St. Matthew. Pray for us. St. Simon. Pray for us. St. Jude. Pray for us. St. Matthias. Pray for us. St. Barnabas. Pray for us. St. Luke. Pray for us. St. Mark. Pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists. Pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord. Pray for us. All you holy innocents. Pray for us. St. Stephen. Pray for us. St. Lawrence. Pray for us. St. Vincent. Pray for us. Saints Fabian and Sebastian. Pray for us. Saints John and Paul. Pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damien. Pray for us. All you holy martyrs. Pray for us. Saint Sylvester. Pray for us. Saint Gregory. Pray for us. Saint Ambrose. Pray for us. Saint Augustine. Pray for us. Saint Jerome. Pray for us. Saint Martin. Pray for us. Saint Nicholas. Pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors. Pray for us. All you holy doctors. Pray for us. 
Saint Anthony, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Bernard, pray for us. Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis, pray for us. Saint Pio, pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites, pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Agatha, pray for us. Saint Lucy, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Cecilia. Pray for us. Saint Anastasia. Pray for us. Saint Catherine. Pray for us. Saint Claire. Pray for us. Saint Elizabeth. Pray for us. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows. Pray for us. All you holy saints of God. Pray for us. Okay, and Elizabeth, now you will uh, respond. Lord, save your people. Elizabeth. There you have you to go. unmute. Okay, great. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil. Lord, save your people. From all sin. Lord, save your people. From your wrath. Lord, save your people. From a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people. From the snares of the devil. Lord, save your people. From anger, hatred, and all ill will. Lord, save your people. From the spirit of uncleanness. Lord, save your people. From lightning and tempest. Lord, save your people. From the scourge of earthquake. Lord, save your people. From plague, famine, and war. Lord, save your people. From everlasting death. Lord, save your people. By the mystery of your holy incarnation. Continue. Lord, save your people. By your coming. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and holy fasting. Lord, save your people. By your cross and passion. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your holy resurrection. Lord, save your people. By your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people. By the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. On the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. Okay, now, Elizabeth, the response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Okay? Uh, be, Lord, mer hear our prayer. be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the church all those who are straying and bring all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. And now Joan and I will finish the, with the responses are a little different. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We're going to conclude the holy hour with another novena prayer of the Chaplet of Mercy, which the Lord asked uh, St. Faustina to pray for nine days in the chapel to appease God's anger, to appease his father, and to entreat God's mercy for Poland. When Sister Faustina was given the Chaplet of Mercy, it's when she saw an angel of wrath uh, about to strike the world and there were lightning bolts and thunder and flashing and she was praying that uh, this destruction would not come to the world and in particular uh, a special place a certain place which we believe she was talking about warsaw um and uh her prayers weren't working this was on September 13th in the year 1935. Her prayers weren't working until she was taken into the indwelling of the Holy Trinity. And she heard words that in her soul that she began to repeat. And we know these words now to be what is the, uh, the chaplet of mercy. And as she kept saying, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. The angel became powerless and couldn't strike the world. And the next day on the feast of the exaltation of the cross september 14th as she was going into the chapel the lord told her uh, immediately when you enter repeat that prayer that i taught you you will pray it on the rosary beads you will start with the our father the hail mary the creed and uh what to say on the our father bead and the hail mary bead and so that's the first time we have the chaplet but we see the effect of it in that the angel of wrath could not strike the world, which was due to punishment rightly for its sins. And then you want to say what about Father Sapochko asked her why that was going to happen. And this is in Father Sapochko's writings, not in the diary. He asked her and he why. He was her spiritual director. And he is the reason why we have the uh, Divine Mercy devotion to this day. Uh, he asked her, uh, for what reason was the angel going to strike? And she said, for the sins committed there referring to that particular city and he said uh, any sin in particular and she said yes the killing of the infant in the womb the most grievous crime of all before god it turns out uh, warsaw was the abortion capital in eastern europe all of europe between world war one and world war ii the penal code had been loosened in 1932 to allow uh, abortions to take place uh, the, with some well, uh, regulations were that uh, only in the case of uh, the health of the mother or if there had been a criminal act or if she had been raped and um, so that's what made it really easy because you could just go and say that you had been raped and um, they would perform the abortions and there were about a million abortions that took place from that time until the outbreak of World War II, which uh, Poland was con divided completely in half one year and one day after St. Faustina passed away. She passed away on October 5th, 1938. But uh, the divine mercy message came precisely for this. Uh, one year before the penal code was changed, Jesus came and said, I want a picture painted like you see me. I want it venerated around the world. I want the whole world to know about my love and mercy. My mercy is greater than your sins and those of the entire world. And I have come not to punish mankind, but to heal it. And this is a great, great gift. Uh, his love and his mercy, as so many have fallen um, into this lie, into this sin uh, for, for so many reasons. But we, we just have a loving God that is willing to accept us back and forgive us and wash us clean. And um, after the war, you know, St. Faustina's diary survived. Carol Wojtyla survived, went on to be the, become the Pope. Um, 
canonized St. Faustina, officially proclaimed the Feast of Mercy for the whole world. It was the happiest day of his life, as he was overheard uh, saying and telling Father Ron Pytel and his mother, the, who uh, his, his uh, Father Pytel's um, cure from a, a, a healing from a heart, a very, very severe heart problem was what led to the canonization of St. Faustina. And now Poland is considered one of the most uh, pro-life nations in the world. And so as Poland goes, we hope that the whole world will go. And we're hoping we are right on the cusp of that happening here in the United States. And so we continue to make these holy hours, to continue to pray the same way Faustina was taught to pray for Poland. But now there's so many of us, and we've been doing this for 10 years. And uh, we continue and we'll continue um, just as long as the Lord wants us to. So thank you all for joining us and for spreading this message and joining us in prayer in this fight for life and uh, for the choice of adoption as Liz has shared with us today. So now we will um, have, uh, Betty's gonna lead us with the opening prayers of the chaplet. And then we have Josie and Angie and then Terry, Rita, and then uh, Dr. Rex, Rex will, I'll close out the chaplet. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the <laughs> resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Joan, I need, I do not have it with me if you could oh, oh, okay. introduce it. Okay. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of, for his, the sake go of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Angels, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and, and the, the treasury, treasury of, of compassion, compassion inexhaustible. inexhaustible. Look, Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, us that, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your, your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, Jesus, I I trust trust in you. you. In the name of the Father. And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you, Lord. That was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we have Agnes Marie back. So, um, Agnes, you want to go ahead and yeah. sing away? Santa Marco Sacramento, Venere Murchenui, Et Antiquum Documentum, Novotitere Tui, Preste Fide Supplementum, Sensum Defectui, Genitori Genitoque, Lasset Jubilatio, Salus Honor Virtus Quoque, Sit et Benedictio, Procedenti You are muted. All right, thank you. All right, well, thank you all for for being here, all of you that have joined us live and all of you that are perhaps joining us on YouTube. And uh, we wanna thank uh, our special guest who's been with us today, Dr. Elizabeth Brex, who uh, has been a big pro-life advocate and a pro-adoption advocate. She herself and her husband um, adopted two children that have grown up to be wonderful adults and um, the Choose Life, uh, an advocate for the Choose Life um, license plates. And um, so Elizabeth, do you have any uh, last remarks that you didn't get in or we could just turn it right over to the gallery and give them an opportunity to, to ask you any questions? Uh, I'm, I'd like to actually I give my email address okay. is my name, Elizabeth Rex, and then CFF, which is Children First Foundation, Elizabeth Rex, CFF, at AOL.com. And I'd be happy to help anyone um, get a license plate or promote the license plate. Uh, we need people in their churches, it's all been fully approved by the Catholic conferences. It's non-denominational, it's uh, ecumenical, but much like 40 Days for Life or Students for Life, this is all of us um, who are choosing life and promoting a good choice, a loving choice adoption when it's not possible to parent. There are so many couples who would long to 
adopt a newborn. So let's pray that uh, we can be a voice for life and for adoption so that more children can have a loving home, a forever home, and we can all reach heaven. We're all adopted children of God. We're all one big family. And I hope people will consider adoption. Uh, there's so many children in foster care, very few that made it to birth, unfortunately. But thank you for oh, any questions, please. Okay, well, I'll put it on gallery view now. And um, I, I, any of you, let's see. All righty. Well, first, I just want to say <clears throat> this is uh, information is so much needed at this time <clears throat> to rebut the criticism, excuse me, <clears throat> that all of us pro-lifers uh, don't care about uh, the children once they're born, you know, uh, that's a criticism that the, the, uh, it's a lie. the anti-lifers uh, throw around. And so uh, your work, Elizabeth, is just, uh, you know, uh, makes that an invalid uh, criticism. And, and I have a question about the safe, you mentioned the safe houses or safe havens, um, the three forms of adoption. Can you briefly explain each one of those? Because I'd never heard of yes. safe haven before. Oh my goodness. This is why we have a lot of good work to do everyone. <laughs> uh, you can look up uh, the safehavenalliance.org and every state has a safe haven law. So it, every state is basically the same that a, um, a newborn child can be brought to any hospital emergency room, no questions asked, no name, no information, bring the baby safe to the emergency room and leave. So, it, oh, wow. it allows a woman to keep her anonymity, which is sometimes saving her life and uh, the baby's life. So these laws are, they started about the same time, about the year 2000. And it's any H, you know, the blue H's sometimes have safe haven signs on them. Uh, our organization has funded safe haven signs. They're $30 each in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. And uh, it's a baby's hand. I, I mean, it's hand with the baby's head in it. It says safe place, safe baby, safe haven. So uh, they can also be brought to a fire station or to a police department. They're all trained. All of these emergency personnel know that a baby can be brought. And this is the hotline. If you can write that number down, uh, 888. 510 baby. You can call or text. Women can get housing. They can get support. They can get a job while they're pregnant. Sometimes they can be moved out of state to visit grandma for <laughs> two or three months. A safe haven is just the most amazing um, help for women who are desperate. With women facing abortion or facing abandoning the baby when the baby's born because then the baby cries. So they're tempted to leave it in a, sometimes kill it um, when it's born um, in the toilet, in the dumpsters. We've heard terrible stories of newborns being abandoned. Some survive, but the mother will go to jail. She has uh, endangered the child's life. So we need to let people and let pe pro-life people know about safe haven laws. So there, that's a wonderful option for someone who doesn't want anyone to know. Um, so at calling that number um, will help um, put that person in touch with help to um, go to term with their baby. They can even give birth in a hospital, no charges, no fees, no, no details. Once the baby is born, they know it's a safe haven baby. It'll go right into uh, foster care and be immediately adopted. There's a long list of people who want to adopt a newborn. So people don't, a lot of these desperate women don't know that there's help. They don't have to have an abortion 
to keep their secret. See, these are sometimes people have this abortion because they don't want anyone to know. So um, the pregnancy centers need to know about this. If you're involved with a pregnancy center, please bring up safe havens. If you were watching the um, oral arguments in Dobbs versus Jackson, Amy Comey Barrett mentioned safe havens twice. And I'll bet a lot of people didn't even know what that was, but she has adopted children herself. So she is an advocate for, for I, I think, it doesn't matter what race, what health conditions, it doesn't matter, a baby will all, there's a long line uh, for babies with Down syndrome. I, people don't know that. There's a waiting list. Oh. People who want to adopt babies with Down syndrome. So um, there's adoption, that's the anonymous adoption. But then once someone has chosen life and the ultrasound, oh, we need to support our pregnancy centers. It's very expensive to get an ultrasound machine and then to have the nurse or the doctor to run it. So that's why the Choose Life license plate is so important because it's, it's a little bit but multiplied by a million. Wouldn't it be great if we had a million Choose Life license plates? Think about it. It'd be $25 million a year that would go to pregnancy centers to help them help their women choose life that's the first step. If you come out and say adoption, they'll go running out the front door. They'd rather abort the baby than choose adoption. It's the sad truth. And so we have to help them choose life first. An ultrasound is great. And then everybody wants to see their baby. And then nine out of 10 will choose life. But once they choose life, we need to tell them they have good choices. And it can be an open adoption. Uh, my uh, brother-in-law and sister-in-law had an open adoption. So their daughter got to see her birth mother on a regular basis, as often as the adoptive and birth parents want, once a week even, go have lunch. You know, it's, it's up to the birth parent and the adoptive parents to make that kind of an arrangement. And being very open about it, some people think that's just the best way to let, let them know from the very beginning that we're all children of God. God makes families in different ways. Adoption is one of those ways that we help each other. Communion of the saints to reach our heavenly home. So very open. And that uh, might be attractive to a birth mother or birth father to have an open adoption. Others to say, I don't want anybody to know. So it can be a confidential or closed adoption. So in our case, with both sets of birth parents, they wanted a Christmas card with pictures and maybe a summary of you know, what's been going on. And we did that uh, with both of them. That's what they wanted. They wanted to move on with their lives. They, they were happy. They chose us, we chose them. And we agreed this would be what we would like at least at the beginning. And then it kind of died away. And, and um, we would send information as they wanted it. You know, if they would send an email, we would respond, but you wanna respect their privacy and let life go forward. So all of, I like to say, we who are pro-life have the most choices. We're really pro-choice. If you only support abortion, one choice, you're not pro-choice, you're pro-abortion. That's anti-choice. We can play their game against them. You know, you have to look yourself in the mirror and say, I am pro-choice. I support parenting. I support open adoption, closed adoption, anonymous adoption. I support four choices. How many choices do you support? <laughs> and wouldn't it be great if we all, if Roe v. Wade is overturned, adoption is a and all four, three kinds of adoption are very important choices. We're not anti-choice. We support pro-life choices for the mother and for the child. There, it's possible that we can support both. A woman's right to choose adoption, safe haven, 
and also um, parenting. Of course, if, if the birth mother can parent, then we want to help her every way we can. Mm -hmm. But if it's impossible, and many of them it's impossible, or it would be bad for the child. Mm -hmm. So good choices. And um, adoption is, uh, I think, going to be very important. Steve Jobs was adopted. This was before Roe v. Wade was made legal. I don't know if everyone knows he was adopted because it, abortion was illegal. So everyone, you know, his birth mother uh, chose adoption. <laughs> and um, so thank God, you know, we don't even know 63 million children, what we've lost. But adoption, please, I encourage everyone, if you can, you'll love the movie. It was so moving. I lived on Parker Avenue. Parker Avenue is where the abortion clinic was. And they go back there later on. And he lived because she chose life and she chose adoption. So it was happy ending. He has a, a younger sister who's a full sibling. They got to meet each other. It's just the happiest of all endings. That's more smiling faces. I like to say adoption is more smiling faces. A child is doubly loved by the birth parents and the adoptive parents. And we would tell our adopted children that we got stuck with our oldest son, <laughs> but we chose them. <laughs> <laughs> so mm -hmm. every child is special. Every, an adoption is very special. And there's so many people who want to adopt, like 2 million. And it takes two to 10 years to adopt a newborn while a baby is aborted every 20 seconds. Wow. Why not choose adoption instead of abortion? Right. Better not to get pregnant in the first place, of course, if, if it's not uh, within marriage and within you know, the ability to raise children. But even large families, I, there have been safe havens. If a family has two or three kids and they just can't afford anymore, Adoption is a choice. Babies have been brought to safe havens and it's anonymous. If, if you really, sometimes women really cannot raise their child without great difficulty. As you know, sex trafficking, prostitution, drug abuse, that's no place to raise a baby. Right. And uh, adoption is a very loving choice. Better if it would be at the very beginning at, at birth. If, if it's going to be a very difficult situation. If there's family that can raise the child, of course. But adoption is, we're so grateful for the birth parents who chose life. We have a happy family and we're, we, we stay in touch now with the birth parents. Our children have all met their birth parents and uh, at least on Facebook. <laughs> and they, they're so glad that their parents, their birth parents chose life. Amen. They're grateful. They're not, they don't hate them. They, they know they had, they could have made another choice, but didn't. And they're, they're very, very grateful. And it just brings tears to the birth parents' eyes who thought that the children would hate them. And it's just the opposite. Right. Wow. Good. Okay, so Angie just put, yeah, that movie is on Tubi, T-U-B-I. I lived on Parker Avenue. I wondered why that title, now I get it, you know. Um, yeah, I lived That's on really Parker cool. Avenue. Yeah, his, his mother chose life. Right. Does anybody uh, else have any questions for Dr. Rex here? No. Oh yes, Diane. Just a little reminder to go to choose-life.org and click on your state in order to get information about the Choose Life plate. And what a great apostolate! You know, you, your family, your friends, your neighbors, your colleagues, you get the plate and then fill up your church parking lot, you know, there you go. get your pastor to get it. Yeah. I mean, ask other people, uh, right? Yeah, there you go. I had, that's how a, we got ours. I have a friend, a very close friend, and we all fought, you know, praying in front of abortion mills and all that kind of stuff. And she said, you need to get a license plate. You need to get a license plate. And then she made a donation and she said here so that you can get one. And uh, 
because it was a couple of dollars. She goes, so I'm giving you this money. It was like a birthday gift or something. She goes, but you have to get the license plate. It just prompted me. You know what I mean? So think about it. That's a way that maybe you could encourage somebody else to get one too. Um, tell them you'll pay for it if you need to. And so we've had one ever since. Actually, that card. We it's a nice gift to give to your, you know, parents or your, you know, your children if they would, you know, put it on their car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Usually there's a renewal fee, and that's why the money keeps going to help women in pregnancy centers and maternity homes and adoption agencies. Um, it, it's really a, a wonderful something everyone can do. And right. I hope someday we'll have 10 million. Why not? Why isn't every pro-life car have a choose life license plate? It's so simple and so powerful. And you'll you'll reach a hundred thousand. Who knows how many people? If you're right. driving a lot, a lot of people are looking at your license plate. Right. I get a lot of thumbs up or toots. I occasionally got something else, but you know how we, sad. Yeah. It's, well, it's Diane, so has a, Diane has a question. Witness. Yeah. Yeah. Be visible witness and, and tell them, Hey, I'm pro adoption and, um, pro life. It's, and people have friends that are adopted in their family. Uh, someone, we all know somebody who is adopted or wants to adopt. And, um, it's a loving choice. I think adoption means love. Diane has a question. Yeah, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to ask you how long um, the safe haven's been in existence. Um, I have I have a really great story. My own sister adopted a child, and I have a beautiful niece who is so smart. She swims. She throws the javelin. Um, uh, what's the other one? The one where the, where you actually flip over? I think um, I can't think of what it's called. Uh, but it's with the stick, or I don't know what you call that. Oh, lacrosse, oh. lacrosse. No, the uh, pole vaulting. Pole vaulting. She pole vaults. Oh. I mean, she's and she's super smart. And I just, uh, I just, she's just such a wonderful girl. And her mother um, had an abortion. Be um, had an abort. Had one child, and then I think she she had an abortion, and then she got pregnant again. And her mother was the one that was telling her to do wanted her to do this and her mother got sick and she said and she was going to take her and she said I'm not doing this and she called this place in Pennsylvania and um my sister had, was on the list because she couldn't have any children and I would say this is one of these things it's rare but within a year and it was really surprising my sister didn't expect to adopt a child that soon but she was there the same as you she was there when the baby was born. She met the mother. Um, yeah. The father, he he just came to the hospital looking for some money, but she actually did see him too. Um, but he's he's out of the picture. But um, I don't know. Maybe someday, you know, I don't know. He would come back. And but she is going to meet. She wants to meet her mother. I, I think when she graduates high school. Um, but it's just such an amazing story and. I just have an amazing niece and, and just, she's adoption is very moving. And once you, it, it's such a beautiful, every child has, it's, it's hard because it, it shouldn't be that way, but life is tough for all of us, you know, with our own children. And it's just, it's a loving, and there's so many people who want to adopt. So, and give children a, a loving home. So uh, Safe Havens started, um, was in Texas, the first Safe Haven law, uh, Tim Jacquard, and uh, at that time, Governor Bush. And okay. the last uh, state to pass it was DC. And oh. it was when he was President Bush. And so uh, uh, President Bush was very, very pro-life and pro-adoption. And um, I might mention, uh, Joan has graciously um, invited me back <laughs> in, a, in a few days to talk about something that is very unusual and is called embryo adoption. There are a million frozen embryos left over from IVF. 
And I am an advocate of embryo adoption of frozen embryos. I've been in touch with the very first frozen embryo to be adopted. Her name is Hannah Streaky. And there's a book now, a snowflake named Hannah. They didn't want to do IVF, but they said, well, what, are there any leftover embryos that we could adopt? And so this is her story. And uh, she was a little girl when the embryonic stem cell research bill was being passed and President Bush vetoed it and invited all the snowflake children, because there are almost a thousand now, that were adopted as frozen embryos. And they came to the White House when he vetoed, he said, he was holding this little baby boy, he's so cute, maybe some of you saw it. He said, this is why I'm vetoing this bill, because they're babies. <laughs> And this, that boy is now a Marine and um, they can speak for themselves. And it's just a very, so there's no reason to be doing IVF. Uh, people don't realize how many babies are killed in the process of freezing them and thawing them. It's a huge problem and we, we need to talk about it. And uh, it's a little baby was frozen for 27 years. You can look her up, Google her. Uh, her name is Molly Gibson. She was frozen for 27 years. And her older sister was frozen for 24 years. And the two little girls, Emma and Molly, and their adopted parents, it's just, it's, it's, it brings tears to your eyes. It, it's just adorable, look them up. She was born just a, a year and a half ago, frozen for 27 years. We have a huge problem in this world with all of these frozen embryos. And so it's, uh, that's my passion at this point. I'm doing a doctorate in moral theology. Uh, the Catholic Church, I believe, John Paul II, who wrote Donum Vitae, the, the information is there. He did not know about embryo adoption. That was 1987. Hannah wasn't born until 1998, late in December, 12 years later. But in his, his instruction, if anyone wants to do a little homework before the uh, next presentation, read Donum Vitae, The Gift of Life. Um, it's on, you can look it up on, uh, Google it, it's uh, uh, in, at the Vatican.com or something. If you write in Donum Vitae and John Paul II, uh, the, the document is there. A lot of people want a baby so badly and there are no babies to adopt. They're facing infertility as my husband and I did. And they want a baby and you can understand that, you know? It's, but in the process, many times they create 15, 20, 30 embryos. And once they have two or three children, they don't know what to do with all of the frozen embryos they still have and their children. So it's a big problem and the Catholic church has not I'm Catholic, I know most of you are. Uh, there are good theologians on both sides of this issue. It's an open issue right now. So very important to be informed about uh, the beginning of life and life should be within marriage and from the marital act. But when it's not <laughs> like rape or incest or fornication or adultery, IVF, which is immoral, happens. And these children, I like to say, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. So it's a, ba it's a baby and they are frozen. And we need to, um, other countries now protect embryos and you can only, um, there's an Embryo Protection Act in Germany from 1990. People don't know this, you know, you cannot harm these embryos or kill them. Um, they are protected by law. Actually, they are persons, not property. I really think it will overturn Roe v. Wade because uh, divorcing couples are fighting over their frozen embryos. Well, are they persons or property? Right. If they're persons, if they're children, then it's a custody battle. But if they're property, then they they get treated like property. So, so I, it's I, I, I'm going to interrupt you for a couple questions because we just have a couple more minutes that we can be on with you today, Doctor. Um, uh, one of our, our regulars, Lynn Marie out in California, says she's leading a rosary rally this weekend, and she really liked the rosary meditations. Um, how could she get a copy? 
I might have gotten this from Priest Life. Um, it, it's called the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary that is dedicated to pro-life reflections. There's no uh, information on it as to who printed it. I picked it up in a parish or a rally somewhere, but it, maybe if you say Most Holy Rosary with pro-life reflections, uh, you might be able to Google it and find it. Yeah. Okay, so Limery, I know you'll find something. Dave just Googled and there's several that are coming up. There is one from uh, Priest for Life by Father Frank Pavone. And uh, there you can just print them out from the internet. Okay, and then it, uh, another question from Ada wants to know if there's an age limitation for adopting these embryos. So they are, uh, you mean for the mother, Ada? Probably. Um, yes. Uh, who's going to adopt? Is there a limitation on how old you can, you have to be not older than a certain age? I, um, it may be by each state, believe it or not, uh, Louisiana, Georgia, and Florida have embryo adoption laws. And I, I believe I'm not, I've never seen an age limit actually, but I will tell you, I am having adopted a, a baby at age 50, we were 50, it's been, a, uh, it's been keeping me young, I'm 73, <laughs> so when you think about the long haul, it probably is a good idea not to go beyond 50. I have to say it's, it's a challenge every day. <laughs> as we get older and they're just in the prime of life but god makes families so my kids would freak I, out i was <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's a beautiful and and to increase your families you know to rescue sometimes it's called embryo rescue that um these and there's snowflakes if you want more information go to snowflakes.org because they okay. they look like little every snowflake is unique and they have pictures of all of these children. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's just you're opening so, our eyes to a whole nother world. And I know there's a lot to talk about and share. Oh my goodness, yes. You know? But we have to um I've got to get back to the hospital. Supposed to, oh my gosh, what a roller coaster ride we have been on, you guys. Um, my dad is yeah. supposed to go home today. But then he couldn't sit up in bed even to eat yesterday. And this morning he got up out of bed and was in extreme pains. Like they said he can go home, but it's like we can't transport him because he's just like in 10 plus pain. So they oh. hurried up and got him back in bed. And so now we're trying to figure out what to do. How do we cover this? He was comfortable in bed. I said, okay, I'm going to come home and do the holy hour. By the time I got home, my sister sends me a picture and they call my dad is up out of bed, walking around was able to sit down, go to the restroom. I, I don't know. I just hope that it continues because we trying to get him home, but I, 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 I just said surrender prayer and then Lord, I don't get it because we we're caught between a rock and a hard spot. And I was saying, I don't know. I don't really don't know how we're going to get out of this one because if you try to do one thing, you're having another problem and we can't, he's on dialysis. So if they really give him medication, to deal with the pain, then he gets knocked out and hallucinates for days, you know? So we're like, we can't give him more pain meds, but he, we can't move him unless he has pain medication. Like, you know, Lord, come on. So anyway, I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to find when I go there. Life. We'll pray uh, for you, Joan. We'll yeah, everybody you has been. Doing. Thank you all for, for everything. We'll keep you guys updated. And also we, so many, everybody in our group, so many have had uh, a lot of issues and problems. Um, let's see. Okay. Many prayers for your dad. Thank you all. And uh, so with that, uh, like we said, we, we are going to have Dr. Rex back with us. And we're going to talk more about the um, embryo adoption and how we can make that information um, more public. And I hope all of you will get a Choose Life uh, license plate and help someone else, not just for yourself, help others do this too. Let your parishes know, go to the website, use it. And she, Dr. Rex gave us her email. So if you've got any questions, all Thank right. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. 
Anything else, honey? That's it. That's it for now. So thank you. We come, this novena comes to an end, but don't quit praying and don't forget the uh, holy, the uh, novena for Pentecost begins on May 27th. Every single one of you do this novena with us, encourage others to, to do this novena. The world needs the Holy spirit. We need the Holy spirit. You guys know I'm so passionate about it and that that's going to continue us through the Easter season. So with all that, we will say, we love you. God bless you all. God bless your families. We love you too. Americans. And we're praying for you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you all. I can feel it. Dave and Jones signing off. Right God bless bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you all.